Hello and welcome back. We are hanging out here at Red Hill. It's supposed to rain again today, but right now the sun is shining. The blimp is flying and the... Uh, yeah, all that. I'm on the roof for reasons. It's the only reason I got. The only reason I can give. All right, let's... Uh, we're going to run over and get the... Uh, the harvester started because I want to try to beat, beat the rain if I can. My uh, dirty pig sty of a truck. Someone said farmers keep their vehicles clean for to to keep them in good maintenance. Well, that's true, but having owned a Ford F three fifty, well, my dad owned it, but whatever. Um, it can look like a pig and not matter too much. I mean, eventually you want to clean it, but me. All right, let's run over here. Go. Let's just park up right here in front of the hay thingamajig. Go, and we're going to run and go get our harvester. Got old Terra Track 780. Which I sold that header trailer because it was crap. And now we just have our tour track. Which is fine with me. Alright. Big old harvester. Yeah, without the header trailer, of course, I am not going to take it on the road because that would be silly. But thankfully, I don't necessarily have to take it on the road. Mixing station is full. Uh, we have full amount of forage there on the mixing station. Uh, I also cut some more, uh, cut some more grass. Put that in for uh, for uh, silage. Well, why not, right? All right, so there is that. Turn that on. Right there, and I'm looking for. <sighs> I gotta do this every single time. I have to remember. Uh, I'm pet. No. Uh, five. No, six. Right. Meh. Do you two? Uh, M. Yes, M. There we go. <sighs> Yeah, I would help if I translated it to English, but I'm ornery. There we go, and we are harvesting our canola. Perfect. All right, let me go uh, run over here. I have a sinking feeling that I need to do something about the sheep. Uh, yes. Just about with the pig. Uh, pigs uh not pigs chickens all right so i did something else with the uh the old uh, debacle with the uh, the bobcat i brought the ford over i drove it over because uh, i decided i'm probably not gonna buy any more equipment at least i can't think of a need for too much more equipment so i figured might as well bring this guy over because it doesn't have problems with the bales not the bales, the, um, the things that I'm doing here. The pallets. Can't see bloody thing, but whatever. Like that? Could use with going down a little bit. If so, maybe. Nope, like that. That'll work. Whoop, there we go. Look at that, that's so easy. <laughs> That's not easy. I will eventually have to sell these. So I've got uh, four of them here. This is pallet number five. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until I have six of them. Um, though I am trying to figure out, you know, how I'm going to get them to the sell point. Because the uh, I think I can do it in the cat low loader trailer. At which point, really, my, why would I just have six? Um, I, I'd actually want more than six, but... You know, six is a nice minimum. Really, stop it. Right there. Now stay. 
There. I know what the problem is. It's because I've got the forks. All right, come on. Let's let's stop playing around. Thank you. There. <laughs> Took a little bit of work. There we go. Got it. All right. So the for the Ford front loader. I'm I'm just keeping it up here to deal with the bales, because the bobcat. Yeah, the bobcat is not a friendly friend for that. All right. Um. Yeah. So I've got both of these full and cooking. I think we're at. Hey, look at that, 29% and jump. 24%. And I took about half of this field of grass. I'm going to fall down and break my leg. Uh, half of this field with the kid. So we just cut this field and there you go. The uh, This has become my best friend for compacting silage because it's nice, big, heavy, and it does a good job. This thing is yeah, it needs more hay, but the mixed rations are full. How are you guys doing, cows? Uh, plenty, and we got plenty of milk, too. All right, good. Good, good, good. All right. So we're doing good there. The sheep got grass. Yep. Sheep got grass. So really, I've, everything looks to be running really well on the farm. Um, no, no real problems. We do have a lot of eggs, but I'm about to fix that problem here. Mm. There we go. Quiet chickens, all of you. All right. So that that's nice. We got that all sorted. Um, canola's doing good. Oh, we were going to look at. There we go. All right. So I have 112 eggs. I probably need to get rid of those. Wheat. Um, yeah, I think I need to sell the wheat. 17,000 liters of wheat. I think I can do that. All right, let's see. Where is the best place to sell wheat? Agra Point, Ben Hoff, Freight Yard. So the best point is the Agra Point. But where the heck is the Agra Point? Now, hold on. The Agra... The Banhoff is the one that's far. Okay, so I think the Agra Point. In. Okay, I think I know where the. <laughs> Do I want to get run over my, my combine there? All right, let's let's go get the Kenworth. Let's grab our wheat. And let's go down to the Agra Point. I think that's the thing across the uh, way here. Uh, it's only 17,000 liters of wheat, but you know what? Money is money in the end. We do have 642,000, which is a great improvement over what we started with. Uh, we'd have even more if uh, wasn't for all this other stuff I have to buy. Potato harvesting equipment comes to mind. Right, let's head out. And go and get our wheat sold. And I'm hoping by the time the wheat is sold, um, because he's got 35% canola. Yeah. I think by the time the wheat's sold, we can come back, grab the canola out of there. So, yeah, we can come back, get the canola. And everything will be good. All right, let's go over here. There. Okay. Um, so some of you have uh, kind of taken me to task in comments about the fact that I modded this trailer to accept silage. You were saying, well, it's a play along. Well, it is sort of a play along, but here's the thing. You can mod the trailer too. And quite honestly, it's just a trailer. I could dump anything I want in here. 
in real life. I mean, why do I want to be limited by the mod author deciding the mod author felt that silage wasn't important? Well, I don't agree. I think silage is important. So I made a trailer that would be able to carry whatever I feel like having to carry, carry silage. You can do the same thing. Simple enough. Look it up on the internet. Those kind of things. Uh, okay, so this is what I think the acre points is. So now we're going to try to sell this here. Church. Yeah, all right. Let's sell it. It's not a lot, but... There we go. Cool. Signs would have been nice. Signs would have been nice. Okay, there we go. Now the one thing about this map is what seemed to me to be a hard. Like, I thought that when I seeded this all in grass, that I was going to make this really, really hard. And to some degree I did. It, it makes me not want to deal with with a uh, another field because I'd have to plow the field, but it's not super hard because well, if I don't want to plow the field, then I just mow the grass off of it and I throw it in my silage pits and bish bash bash, I got all the money I need. So that's kind of... Um, I guess a lesson to myself there. To break on for a minute. All right. So we got this one good size field that we bought that, that we've been using. We have that other field over there that we kind of stole a little bit for potatoes, but we haven't really done anything else. I bought it because I was like, oh, it's a great grass field, but then I don't need to buy it to harvest the grass off of it. So I was like, well, what am I going to turn, what am I going to turn it into? I could turn it into a total potato field, but no, I'd rather just not because potato harvesting is not something I actually care about. Corn. Uh, no, because I don't really want to buy another corn sewing device, honestly. Um, all right, it's turning. Wow, oh, he got that far in 55%. He could probably make the entire entire field. Ah, oh, he'd probably like be short right at the very, very end. Because that's how things work out around here. There go. Cool. So we're gonna see how much canola we get. And canola. You know, canola always yields less than other things, but the per ton price is always a little bit more. So it's sort of one of those. So we got canola at 629 at the agro point. Yeah, 629. Cool. We can do that. Not a lot of canola, though. We're not going to... We're probably going to be 10,000. Not a, not, not going to break the bank or anything. But... Not terrible, either. So we've done barley. We've done canola. Done wheat. I guess theoretically I should kind of come back into. All right, I'm gonna hit the. I'm gonna go to the purchase menu. I'm not gonna buy anything here. I'm going to use this as like I've got my catalog. That's, I would have a catalog or look on the internet. All right, um, 58 grand if I want to sew sew maize, or 85 grand for decent working with. <laughs> $10 a day, $130 a day, so I would probably go ahead and get this Amazon EDX. 
Um, that would allow me to sew maze. I would have to get a new head, though. So we go over to the rods. Harvesters, and I'd have to pay another 58000 so it's going to cost me over $100,000 to get corn and I am not going to make $100,000 back. So I'm thinking corn is a no. Um, I guess I could put this field back in wheat because that wouldn't really hurt nothing. This field in wheat, I guess I could plow up the other field. I would want to kind of cut it though. I probably should do that. I'll, I can cut that field, collect that silage, plow the field. I'm going to get a different plow though. I have a I have this this mod plow. I'm going to get the in-game large plow. I think it's just easier. It's larger. I'm actually going to add two by picking up that large plow. Uh, I'm not going to replace. So I'm just going to pick up. So I'm just going to pick up this uh, servo 6.5 for 32 because um, it, it doesn't quite plow the way that I'd want to. Like this requires a pretty hefty piece of equipment because it's fully three point hitched. This one has that little wheel on it. And when the hired workers plow, they do a terrible job. But then I can use the other plow to clean up the mess that the hired workers created. So that will work out. Um, and I think I can use the John Deere to haul that that plow, which is good news. So are you going to be... Why are you putting your little... Oh, you're putting it out because you detect me sitting here. Uh-huh. All right. Let's... Um, while he's doing that, we're going to run over here. Oh, you can hear that Kenrick all the way over here. <laughs> all right, let's get this guy. So I was trying some different tricks with this, um, with the new Holland and the kid, Har the kid Forager. Like I tried to put the butterfly plows in the front of the new Holland and have them magically, I don't know. It didn't work out. What are you doing, you silly butterfly plows? They've started wandering, by the way. I don't know why. They've just started wandering around. Can I get in there? Now I can get in there. As in that magic. Magic carp. There. I don't know what the deal is right now. I got like equipment parked in weird spots and it's just acting off. I don't know. So that plow is a plow that I've got. It's not really all that big. And so what we're going to do is we're going to get that really big plow. And then um, we'll use that really big plow to, uh, to basically pre-plow the earth easy plow a large part of the field and then we'll come back and um, clean up our mess with the other plow back here pull that down that up that up uh, B, comma, B, B. There we go. Uh, all right. There we go. Perfect. So we'll just cut this field, and then we'll come back with the kid, and we'll collect everything off this field, and we will put it in the um, in an alt dump pile. Alt tip pile, and that will give us um, enough stuff to, to create un probably another maybe full round of silage pit. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, the advantage here is I can make this turn right here, 
and not care that I leave like a little path of uncut grass because the kid will just cut it for me. I don't have to worry about it. And it's nice. Alright. Nice and quick. Should be able to, to knock this out really fast. And uh, uh, make a nice line there. Well, whatever. Okay, not a nice line, but a line. <laughs> well, what you gonna do? Alright, there we go. Alright. Yeah, so we'll have plenty of grass off of this field. We'll, we'll plow this field up and sow it in, I don't know, barley maybe, because we're putting weed on the bigger field, I guess. Okay, yeah, that's that's crap, but I can actually deal with that with the kid. Uh, yeah. This is actually how I was cutting that other, the big field there. I was just sort of whipping the tractor around and not worrying about leaving the row because with the forager, it was like, well, what does it really matter? Because the forager can handle it. Uh, it also reduces the amount of time I have to spend actually doing this. Which is good. There we go. So I am going to consider going forward uh, stuff off the titanium pack as being mod. I know it's giant stuff, but if there's something I really want to do and the stuff with the titanium pack allows me to do it, then chances are I will pick up something off the titanium pack. Uh, that being said, um, right now I don't see a reason to buy anything <laughs> from the titanium pack. Wow, this is actually going to probably be one whole silo. That might be a problem, actually. Um, that could be an is at issue. I might advance until I can clean out a silo. Hmm, I'll have to think about that. Because my, my concern is I'm going to have some huge alt tip points. <laughs> uh, I guess I could just dump them everywhere. The other problem is alt tip points are kind of a pain to pick up. So the, the 345B, the excavator, it'll pick up this the alt tip points. But you don't... Like, I... I think, oh, I'm going to reach out and grab from the top of the alt tip point. That's not true. I actually need to pick up near the base of the alt tip point. And the 345 just doesn't really respond well to that. So it's kind of a pain in the butt, those alt tip points, because you kind of have to mess around with the 345 to get it to pick up anything that you've dumped into an alt tip. That's really annoying, actually. Um, And can it kind of like limits in my mind the usability of the alt tip point because I it sort of puts me off tipping stuff because I'm like oh I gotta figure out where exactly the perfect trigger point is because I I could pick up maybe like a thousand liters of something with the the excavator bucket and then I'll stop picking stuff up and I have to sort of flail the bucket around until it'll magically find that point again um, to pick up. The whatever it is in the alt tip point. So that is sort of something to keep in mind. If you, uh, if you're using alt tip point. There we go. Perfection. Well, not perfection, but you know, it works. <laughs> It works. 
Turn that off. Raise it. Transport position. Go there. Turn that off. Raise it. There. Alright, and our excavator is done. I've done my terrible cutting job. Jeez. So I'll come back with the um, with the kid. Yeah, I'll come back with the kid. I'll just I'll just come back with the kid. I won't worry about alt tip point. We'll just pile stuff up. What's the worst that can happen, right? Don't answer that. It's probably better you don't. Okay, so let's put the front there. This there. Perfection. Okay, we'll run the tractor around the corner here. Right back to the tractor. I'm gonna go and get my canola out of my harvester, wherever in the world my harvester has wandered off to. It's over there. And do I care about that little bit of canola left? Uh, that would be a negatory on that. Right. Start them up. There we go. 4,000 liters. Not a heck of a lot. Yeah, not a huge yield on canola. But, I mean... Better than nothing, I guess. Alright, fold her up. Run back and park it back up in the shed so that we don't have any issues. Um, I'm thinking I might put the uh, the New Holland on this field and actually put the furt on the front of the New Holland for a change to kind of cut a little bit of time but I don't know I don't know I'm gonna I'll think about that we're gonna We'll run the canola to the to the cell point. Cause why not? Oop. All right, stop like that. Turn that off. You're gonna be stuck up now. That's nice. Uh, I need a little like roller skates or something. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna use them. Yep. Yeah. Usually this is my trailer for, uh, or my tractor for, um, silaging. But we're going to do this. Because really, yeah, why not? Go. All right. We're going to go with wheat. Back to the old wheat. Cool. All right, so we're gonna sow this field back in wheat. I will. I'm gonna use the, the little sprayer thing this time for reasons. If I feel like it, it's the only reason I really need. Go. Nope. Other way. Yep. Like that. Perfect. Stop. Go, turn that on. Hire the worker. Perfect. Alright, that's him done. Now I gotta run down here and get the cat. Uh, yeah, that's fine. 
it's not it's not the cheapest thing in the world, but I'll take it. I mean, you got to kind of balance the whole um, time versus money issue because I can I can either not spend the money on the uh, fertilizer going right now with the overspray, or I spend the time on fuel to run up back over the field with the fertilizer. So really, hmm. six of one, half dozen of the other. Let's go sell this. 11,000, just under 12,000. I wasn't too far off. I said, what, 10, 11? So it was 11, 12. Cool. All right. So this should make enough money to pay for the uh, fertilizer we're spraying all over the place. That's what I'm going with. Stop. There we go. 653. Cool. A little bit, not a lot. Would I like to get more? Uh, I'd love to have a higher yield, but what are you going to do? You can only do so much. All right, so we're going to run back. We'll get the um, Johnny Deer. The John Deer. We'll hook it up to the kid. We'll go up and we'll try to see how much, uh, how much of a disaster we can make with the kid before we go and get the new big plow. Yeah. Oops, that up. Let's go park this guy up. All right. And we're sort of racing time again because it's supposed to rain again every single day so far. It has rained, um, which is kind of annoying. All right, I'm gonna grab this. Cause we'll probably take this when we go and get the plow. I know some of you are gonna be like, oh yeah, just put it on the road. Yeah, but I'm sorry, I like my trailer. <laughs> in fact, we're just gonna pull out and put the truck in a position to uh, load up the trailer. That's good. There we are, that'll work.